A Chinese woman imprisoned before the Beijing Olympics has been left barely able to stand. Amnesty International has been helping her daughters raise awareness. Our Bureau in New Zealand spoke to the organization's executive director there to find out what else is being done. A mother of two dying in a Chinese prison, Chen Zinping has been incarcerated since 2008 because of her beliefs. Since then, there's been a global effort to help free her. The director of Amnesty International in New Zealand told NTD this week that they have brought up Chen's case with the New Zealand government. We've written to the New Zealand Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade uh, and raised the issue. We, we've, had, uh, we've had confirmation back that he's received the letter and we had uh, concern expressed. It's very difficult to know what, if anything, the New Zealand government is doing on this, but we'll keep raising it. Chen Zinping is a Falun Gong practitioner. The meditation practice has been severely persecuted in China since 1999. Chen was arrested before the 2008 Beijing Olympics as part of a nationwide security sweep by the Chinese regime. In February, Chen's daughter told NTD her mother was denied family visits for more than 40 months. US-based Clear Wisdom website also reported that Chen has been tortured to the point where she could not stand by herself and is on the brink of insanity. Chen's two daughters have escaped China and are currently living in Finland. Amnesty International has been helping them to appeal for their mother. The European Commission for Human Rights has also taken action. The more we raise an issue, the more likely it is that there will be release or at least improvement in conditions. And, and conditions are very important. We're calling for visits, medical visits, family visits, legal visits for Ms Chen because we know those things can help protect her. But the efforts should not stop there. There are many, many people in, in similar situations to Ms Chen's and uh, we need to keep working on her case, but we also need the Chinese government to respect human rights, to stop detaining, to stop torturing people expressing their religious beliefs. NTD News, Auckland, New Zealand.